How you doing YouTube? Silver Joker here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. I managed to add a few more ounces to the stack. These are premium coins, some uh, uh, American Eagles and some Canadian coins, and uh, we'll get to them in just a minute. But I also had a conversation with Phil about a coin that I bought. I had some questions about that, and he cleared some things up for me. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. So I was down at uh, Franklin Street Coin over the weekend. I just needed <laughs> needed a break from the, the everyday, all the madness that's going on around us. And, you know, Phil's shop, it really is like an oasis for me. There's so many things to stimulate my mind, uh, so many distractions. It's just, it really is a sanctuary um, to kind of get away from just the everyday stuff. So I bought this coin, and I'll explain to you guys a little bit later in the video why I bought this coin in the first place. But I bought this coin, and I wasn't sure if it was something that I wanted to trade or something I wanted to keep. So I just needed that idea of what numismatic and semi-numismatic uh, really meant. And so Phil is the perfect guy to, to get that information from. So I took this coin down there and let him uh, see it and give me kind of an idea of what I should do with it. Uh, if there's any value in collecting them or, you know, trading them off anyway. So this is basically the conversation we had. So I'll just let you guys hear that conversation and then we'll talk a little bit more on the other side. Numismatic usually falls into the collector market versus bullion market. The, right. the two are, there's some gray areas between the two, but yeah, certainly numismatic implies more of a collector market. Right. And semi-numismatic means what? I mean, what, what makes it, um, what's the so difference? The semi-numismatic is in that gray area where, you know, the, the, the minimum value of the coin or whatever it is is based upon its metal content yet there are collectors that are willing to pay substantially more than the metal value of the coin to obtain the coin um, and a lot of these five ounce um, state quarters and the, the five ounce part quarters can fall under that category where they're semi numismatic where people are willing to pay considerably more than just five ounces of silver that they contain right, to okay. either complete a collection or to get a, a coin that might be have a low mintage, uh, various reasons as to why somebody would want, you know, a five ounce coin that they're paying considerably more than just five ounces of silver for. Right. All right, so I bought this coin uh, as part of a deal I was making with a friend of mine who needed one of these 2012. Now, I'm not really into these coins right here, but I bought it for him. Uh, deal kind of fell through. Things, you know, went in another direction. So, you know, I kind of stuck with this coin. So I took it down the field to see if it was worth me trading it to him because I know what I paid for it, traded to him uh, for um, maybe some other silver that I wanted to add to my stack. And that's how the conversation came to be. And he convinced me that maybe it was a good idea to kind of hold on to this. And there's is a demand for people that want to do a set of state quarters in the five ounce in 70 uh grade okay so, so you're saying that you know this um in addition to just being the collection of the different years and different states they'd also want to collect the slab version of them it would be yes. a collection of just the the graded version of yes, them too. people will put sets together in that. 69 or sets together in 70 um and for these particular coins in 2012, again, because of lower mintages and because of the initial price being much higher than some of the previous five ounce coins in the series, some people will buy these simply as a key date coin in the series and not worry about the other coin, the other five ounce coins, um, feeling that this coin, as it sits, either in a 69 or 70 holder or whatever they prefer to collect in, will hold its value um, just because it's it's a lower mintage and it's what we consider if, if you're going to consider anything a key date in the five ounce you know some of the 2012 certainly would fall into what we consider key dates okay so yeah i'm, I'm beginning to like this a lot more than, <laughs> than i did i mean you know I, I bought it not really realizing the value that that this one has i mean it has value beyond just the regular um you know bullion version and also the fact that it's 2012 so mm. it was almost like i hit the jackpot almost when i bought this all right, so as you heard, <laughs> I've decided to uh, send it out to uh, 
PCGS and get a grade put on it. Uh, I know we've talked about that in the past, but you know, I, I feel like I've got something special here. Is if you know, because this coin it looks perfect to me. I mean, from my point of view, it looks perfect. Phil agrees that it, it looks really good. It should grade pretty high. He wouldn't be surprised, he said, if it came back a 70. Um, and also, you know, if I'm going to trade this coin off, I mean, I want to get the most value I can get for it. And, um, you know, if I can send it off and get more value put on this coin by having it graded, uh, I don't see the problem with doing that. I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and bear the expense of getting it graded. And, um, you know, and I'm really, really curious as to see where it would come back at. I'm almost certain that it's going to come back at 70 because, I mean, I, I guess you would have to have another one to kind of compare the, it to. But just by itself looking at it, I can't find a thing wrong with it. But, of course, I'm not PCGS. And I like what another YouTuber said, 5150 said. You know, he's got a lot of bullion for investment, just like me. I mean, I've got a lot of bullion that I've collected and stacked over the years. I mean, I've got a lot... Um, towards my retirement so why not you know have a little fun with your with your stack have a little fun collecting some of the things like you guys saw the libertad collection that i put together and i enjoyed that i like that a lot and i'm always evolving my passion and my and my um my uh, interest in this particular um medium is just always ever changing and evolving and i think that's a good thing uh and so now I feel like I want to do that kind of stuff, make things kind of uniquely mine, things that I've stacked and collected. And I, and you know, I stacked this purely by accident. I mean, like I said, I was getting it for somebody else and, you know, the deal kind of fell through in another direction. So, you know, I don't want to just be, just have this just sitting in my stack if it can be, if it's something special. So uh, who knows what I might do? I might go ahead and get it slabbed up and get a grade put on it. If it's a high grade, you know, I might trade it off. Uh, for something that I like a little better, or I may just keep it, or I may start a a collection just on maybe the key dates of these. But that's the that's the joy of stacking. That's the joy of being a bullion stacker, a silver stacker. Very nice coin, and I guess they they all look very nice because yeah. they were protected originally from right. the mint, uh, put in boxes, and then right. the boxes were sent out. So. Uh, it's been protected its whole life, and eventually it'll be removed from this capsule and put into a, a big yeah. um, PCGS holder, which it will spend the rest of its life. I'm sure right. unless somebody wants to crack it out, but yeah, uh, for I the doubt most part, would do that. Those things are like little mini vaults. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Yeah, just don't drop it on your floor. Right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it always looked this nice. Is right. my point. It's That's you know, beautiful. it's going to always look this nice. And whether you think it's a 69, 70, 68, whatever you yeah. do, it, it still have you still have a visual appeal right. with these right. coins. And I can't I think wait to see that. Yeah. And of course, you know, I'll be back and uh, and we'll 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 get the answer together. Yeah. All of us yeah. together. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll thanks. Let you open, I'll let you open the box and you know maybe surprise you. When, oh, that when sounds good. Back. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Phil. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yep, and when I get that back, um, you guys know I'll take you down there with me and we'll we'll see what that grade grades out at. Now, I'm thinking it's going to grade to 70, of course, <laughs> but, you know, we'll see. I mean, I looked at it. There's there's no flaws that I could see, but, you know, I'm no no uh, grade expert. But anyway, it's curious to see what it's going to come back as, and then we'll we'll see where we're going to take that coin from there. We'll see, you know, I might... It might go someplace. It might surprise you what I do with that particular coin. So uh, you might want to stay tuned for that. But anyway, these are those lucky dragons that I got. These are Royal Canadian Mint coins. These are coins, not rounds. Uh, and they're beautiful. I have 13 of them. I wanted more, but that's all he had. But, you know, let's just keep on doing what we do. I mean, I don't want to take this video too much longer. Um, but, um, you know, let's just keep the silver train rolling. I mean, that's what we do. You know, the future is coming towards us. We know that. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of hope. A lot of faith. I mean, you hear that and everything you hear is, you know, there's a lot of hope. And there's nothing wrong with hope. Hope is fantastic. But to me, hope is a little more passive than what we need. We need hope, but we need something in addition to hope. We need courage. You know, hope gives you the energy to hold on until help arrives. Hope gives you the faith to hold on energy to hold on but courage gives you the energy to reach for that next branch to pull yourself up and that's what we're doing as silver stackers we hope that the future is going to be bright and we have faith that it is going to be but we're not going to wait we're not going to let the future happen to us we're doing things now so that we are in a position to control our own destinies when the future arrives and it's coming make no mistake about that it's coming and what you do now will determine your destiny when
tomorrow comes. And that's really all I want to say about that. But anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by. If you like what you see, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell and hit all. And that way you'll be notified as soon as I put out another video. And let's just keep this silver train rolling. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.